Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Hannah reached out to me and the team inquiring about a loyalty test that she had already started on her own. So Hannah reached out to me because she wanted to put her boyfriend Blake to the loyalty test. And Hannah already essentially started her own loyalty test on Blake by starting a fake burning account and naming it Simone. I was kind of unsure about him, so I decided to kind of catfish him for a little bit and yeah, it has not been going well at all. Hannah has been catfishing her boyfriend Blake for almost a month now. The only problem is she actually used her friend as the picture. So we have to reach out to her friend and see if she was capable or willing to actually beat the decoy in this video. Blake is a truck driver who spends a lot of time on the road, which is why Hannah initiated her own test using her friend as the picture to create conversations to see if her boyfriend Blake would take the bait. However, Simone never agreed to any of this. She don't even know that this is going on. So now I have to ask, and if she says no, Loyalty test will never happen. Drip is 100% correct. Because Hannah has already been talking to her boyfriend Blake, using her friend's face to catfish him, the only way to execute this test is to get the real Simone to agree to help. Which is a reach because she has no clue that she's a part of this situation. The test will have to take place in Houston, and all three of them, Blake, Hannah, and Simone, lives in Austin. All right, so how, do, how are we gonna get Simone to be a part of this loyalty test? Okay, so all we need to do is for you to reach out to whoever you use as that picture and see what they actually be willing to participate, and we can okay. go from there. Okay, sounds good. Okay. She ain't gonna wanna do it. Probably not. So if she don't wanna do it, then we probably have to end up telling Hannah to start a whole nother account, which would be fishy as fuck, and yeah. use somebody that we can actually use. So she might, she might do it. She might do it. She might do it. She might. We'll see. Yeah. Hannah eventually reached back out to us and let us know that Simone was down to do it, so we simply booked her a flight to Houston and went to pick her up from the airport. Simone? Yeah. How you doing? Nice to meet you. How was your flight? It was a good one. When Hannah um, told you that she used you for the test, what, like, how did you feel about that? Uh, I was a little confused. Why were you confused? Well, we haven't spoken in a long time, so I was just confused as to why she used my face. Uh, but... Are you nervous? Yeah. Yeah, so um, I know it's probably gonna make you feel uncomfortable because you're actually meeting a stranger and you have not been in communication with him at all. So just try to do your best. We're gonna be watching it all time, so you all you will be safe. If something happens or go wrong, we'll, we'll we'll just end it there. So Hannah texted me. She told me that Blake flight don't land until two hours from now or whatever. So we can just go grab a, a bite to eat or something, and I can brief you on everything you need to know. All right, that sounds good. Okay, so we can, we parked over here. So she kind of wants to see, is he only entertaining this just because he spends so much time away from her or would he actually act on it? So that's where we come in at. Who think, who think he's gonna fail? He's gonna fail. Okay. <laughs> The team was actually 100% right. Blake felt this test. He was not only entertaining the conversation he and Simone actually had through text messages, which was his girlfriend in reality. He actually took it a step further and actually came to Houston thinking he was talking to Simone, which he was because that's who she really is, but he really wasn't talking to her. Y'all get what I'm saying? So, am I what you expected? Like, I look like my pictures and everything I sent you? Like, you know? Uh, you, yeah, you're How exactly you what I expected. You blew me away by how tall you were. Oh yeah? Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I took a little risk coming out here and everything, but uh, how come you never wanted to like talk on the phone or FaceTime or anything like, you know, we only texted. So that's why I was a little skeptical coming out here and everything. You know, I just thought that we I felt like we had a really good connection over text and, um, if we talked, it would get boring, and I just wanted to see you in person. Oh, you wanted to, like, save everything for in person? Yeah, for sure. Okay. That makes sense. I mean, I think you look good. Yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. At first, I thought you were catfish, but I figured, you know, I'm gonna come out here and do some shit I like anyway, so might as well take the risk. But, um, yeah, I mean, I guess everything turns out like, I mean, you, you look good. I like the way you look. I think we should definitely link up. You know, chill out tonight and then go skydiving tomorrow. Okay. Hang out at the hotel. Thank you. Know. you. Yeah, you look good too. Thank you. Well, if you want, we can uh, hang out right now. We can go get some drinks or have lunch. Yeah, that sounds good. Go have like uh, well, you got a uh, good seafood around here? Uh, there's this crawfish place I know. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Get some drinks and uh, go back to the hotel, freshen up, hang out a little bit. Okay. 
definitely is a drink. Yeah, me too. So, how do you get when you start drinking? Like, can you handle your drinks? Yeah. Or do you get all crazy when you start drinking? <laughs> you know, I like to just drink and hang out, watch a movie or something. Okay. So Netflix and chill type <laughs> shit. Yeah. We sent Simona's address to the restaurant on where to take Blake, being that she had no idea where she was going because she was not from Houston. All we needed her to do was to buy some time till tomorrow so Hannah could arrive and confront him, but things started to go left quickly. The weather is nice outside. Yeah, it is. Thank you. I'll see so I like it. Cheers? Uh, yeah. Make this. Make this. Right now? Just chilling, right? I just, just want to kiss you, sorry. Just chilling. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I was just trying to get a kiss, but you can give me a hand or something. Okay. You know, I'm just gonna leave. You're not listening. What do you mean? I I'm gonna do all that, damn. In that moment, I missed exactly what happened. Even though I was listening to the audio, I just could not hear what was going on. But I can tell from Simone's face, she was very uncomfortable. I told you. Not on that, or like what? No, I just wanted to take it slow, get to know you a little more. You just got I saw I'm just doing too much. That's what it is. You know, I just. We've all we've been doing is texting. Yeah, but I mean, like, the way we're texting and shit is not really lining up with how how you're acting right now. But I mean, yeah, that's just what I gotta say. I'm just pointing it out. Let me at least get my damn bag or something. Yeah, you can get a gold boy stuff. I mean, like, you really brought me out here. I mean, just do what? Do nothing. What were you? I, I, like, I thought we were already. What were you expecting to do? I guess I was expecting more out of you than, than I thought, you know? Make sure I'm getting it. Well, I'll see yeah. you later. I mean, you really brought me out here just for nothing. Like, I feel like the way we're texting this shit on the phone, you don't really line up with how you act. Like, we're talking about doing this and that and everything, and I get out here and you just acting all, you acting fucking weird. I feel like we just don't play it. Okay. We gotta get to know you. I don't know what happened. I literally wanted to go up to the car and ask Simone exactly what happened because I could not hear clearly. So I had to sit tight because Blake was literally still sitting there waiting on his Uber. But eventually the Uber came and I was able to go ask her and this is exactly what she said. What happened? I can't do this. Um, he's looking at me like he knows me and I can't portray the feelings that we've been texting about because I wasn't the one texting him. He's coming on strong and I don't know what to do. For sure. So, um, are you like completely out of it? Like tomorrow, Hannah's is supposed to arrive and y'all supposed to go skydiving. So, are you calling quits with all, everything or are you just done with today? Yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. I, I can't do it. I respect that. So, um, do you want to go back to Austin today or do you want to stay till tomorrow? Just let me know what I need to do to make you more comfortable. Uh, I'll go back to Austin today. Okay, that's fine. So, um, I'm gonna get my. He's expecting me to stay the night. And so, huh? He was expecting me to stay the night. He was definitely picking up on your energy because you was kind of like deflecting everything. But, um, we're gonna see what we can do uh, for now. I'm gonna I'm talk to my assistant about booking you a flight and um, we'll just go from there. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, though. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So Simone called it quits, and I really don't blame her. It was a very uncomfortable situation for her, and I really didn't think that out enough to anticipate that Blake would come off that strong. So I almost definitely take accountability for that. But regardless of her backing out, we still have to push forward because Hannah still will be arriving tomorrow. Blake doesn't know that Simone is going home, so Hannah was instructed to keep texting him as if everything was normal. The reservation for skydiving is still set for tomorrow, so we will proceed as nothing happened. And instead of Simone being there, Hannah will be waiting front and center at the bottom when he lands. Today's test will take place in Houston at Skydive Spaceland because Hannah, AKA Simone, told Blake if he were to ever come to Houston, she would take him skydiving. And ever since, Blake
he's been obsessing over the idea of going. How are we going skydiving? I guess she didn't think the test would actually get to this point. So now that she has already said that through text messages, we had to bring that to life. We already know where we're taking Blake to skydive at. So when we get there, we're going to arrive way early before them so we can establish our shots and all of that. Well, hold on. I got to figure out how to switch We all skydiving? Or like you what? don't gotta skydive. You're not skydiving. Are you sure. paying attention? You said we go and skydive. You're not skydiving. Okay. That's lucky a good question though. <laughs> this man is the only one that's going to skydive. I reached out to Nick, the head manager over at Skydive Spaceland, and all we have to do is sign waivers so we can actually be at the landing stages. We have walkie talkies so we'll be in communication with each other, but make sure they add up the volume where if he's around, he does not hear it. Here, he's walking up right now. He's wearing like a red shirt. Oh, I see him. I see him. Make sure you're in position, bro. You hear me? Christian, this is where you come in at. Because Blake is actually jumping out of a plane, he got to go through a course. So while he's going through that course, which may take up to 45 minutes to an hour, Christian, you will be booking into the airport, getting Hannah. You cannot be late. You're Hannah? Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Christian from Jack TV. Hi, nice to meet you. All right. So why should this not be in here? Hannah's getting to the airport late because that's the quickest flight she can get. Oh, I can grab her bag for you. Thank you. No this shit's fucking ridiculous. I shouldn't have fucking come out here to do this, to be honest. Not 100%. No. It's my fucking time. Communication, that's fucking. why communication is so important. It's just that easy. Yeah, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. Blake is about to jump out of a plane at 14,000 feet and have no idea that his girlfriend will be waiting at the bottom when he land to confront him. Stay tuned. <sighs> so here it is, guys, moment of truth. This guy have no idea that his girlfriend is standing literally right here. And he probably still don't know at this moment. You supposed to see me? Yeah, I am. Why? Who are you expecting? Simone? What who? Simone? Simone who? Oh, oh. Come on, who? Man, come on. Look. Are you fucking kidding me? Chill out. Relax. What are, what are I have to people? fucking travel all the way out here to find your Where cheating you ass. So, Blake, the whole entire time you've been on a loyalty test, bro. Soon you got to Houston, you've been on a loyalty test the whole time. Simone does not like you. She, she was texting you the whole entire time. And you fell right into it. Redondito, pinche pendejo. Well, look, I turn the fucking camera off, all right? Okay, you, okay, first you? off. I ain't talking to you right now. Look, now, look, now. You got, here, you gotta hear me out because I'm the one in fucking control right now, okay? Oh, really? You're yes. Control. I am fucking I control. Because I'm the one that fucking caught you. Don't forget that shit. Turn the cameras off, man. No. Everybody here, man, listen the fuck up. up. Este pendejo, fucking cheater. Piece of trash, bro. I should have left your ass a month ago. Hey, man. Like, who else do you think we were talking to, huh? Who else do you think you were talking to? Fuck you. Come on. Relax. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, bro. But I was you the whole time. Yes, it was fucking me. 
You think you can do better? You're too scared to talk to me? Is that what it is? I don't want to talk right now, all right? I just did some on my bucket list. Oh, really? All right, I'm feeling good. Oh, I'm so glad I fucking ruined this moment for you because honestly, you don't deserve this or anything else after this. Really? Yes. You piece of shit. Like, the fuck? Like, it's that bad that you have to come all the way out here to do that shit? Seriously? I mean, the location is irrelevant. I came out here to skydive. It doesn't fucking matter. It's the fact that you're fucking, you're fucking cheating. It's okay. That's a, okay. It's okay. It's really on you for invading my space, coming out here and setting me up. This is all you, isn't it? Ain't this all you? You set it up? You know what, Blake? After this, I hope everybody here realized the type of person you fucking are. You piece of shit, you fucking used me for my apartment. I took care of you. I I paid for some of your shit. You fucking broke ass. I'm broke. I paid for this. What are you talking about? You shouldn't fucking pay for this. <laughs> oh my god. Like You're I ridiculous. Said, like, You're literally you know, fucking setup, ridiculous. You obviously did not pay for this. No, he so. fucking didn't. All these damn cameras. All right, turn them off. We can talk alone, but I'm not. This is lame. I'm not doing this. Y'all, you got security. You got people here. I can't talk to you like this. You, we, we'll stay right here. You, you just gotta have your conversation with him. You want to? Like, go, go over there. You want to talk? Yeah, let's talk. Let's right, talk. Come on. I just don't fucking understand why you would even like, even like entertain the idea of you talking to somebody else. I don't, I don't understand. I done so much for you. I, and I know you have, and I'm sorry. I, I really am. I don't fucking understand. I don't know why you, I mean, if you don't want to set me up. I don't know why, why would you do that to yourself? Because I didn't fucking trust you. And like, I didn't want this shit to happen. Like. Look, I'm sorry. All no, right? don't don't touch me right now. Don't sorry, touch me. Okay? <laughs> Look, I just I how can I right. I how can I trust better. you after this? I can't. I really don't like, know. I it, can't. It's just gonna take time. You're just gonna have to trust me. That's that's not how you fix shit. How how would you like me to fix it? Cause I I can't think of anything right now other than moving forward. I just can't believe you good, fucking you know? flew from a fucking city to here to meet with a fucking bitch that wasn't fucking me. Like I, I've done so much for you, and and this is how you fucking repay me. Like I really, I don't know if I can get past this. I really don't. Come on. Well, no. I'm sorry. No. Right. Please, here. please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Come I'm on. I'm done. I'm done. We're done here. Really? We're done. That's just how it is. Thank y'all. Fuck you. Done.